Hey everybody. So in this video, we are diving into the newly released Gemini 1.5 Pro experimental model from Google, which has even surpassed GPT-4, currently the world's top language model. All right, so we will explore its capabilities and build a full stack application in combination with Ada. Okay, right, so I have already made videos of ada in combination with olama that is um, lama 3.1 model to build full stack applications so google introduced gemini 1.5 pro that is the experimental 0801 model so this model has already climbed to the top of the ALMS leaderboard outperforming other notable models like GPT 4.0 and GPT 4 mini. So, as you can see here from the chart, you see the score for the Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental being on top with 1299 score as compared to other models. All right, so we so it has gained strong community approval with this number of votes, All right? So we are going to explore this model and its context window of 2 million token allows for processing extensive information beyond GPT-4s, that is 32,000 token capacity. So it also excels in multilingual tasks ranking first in languages such as Chinese, Japanese, German, and Russian, and it demonstrates exceptional technical proficiency. All right, so I'm gonna link, I'm gonna put the link in our chat so you can go through this, um, this site, All right, so, you, as you can see, so they've collected they collected over one million human pairwise comparison to rank these LLMs. So you can see it is something that is really useful, and it makes you get more insight into the models in terms of the scoring, and in terms of the other um, metrics. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go back to my VS code, we are going to use this Gemini. So I'm going to show you how you can get your API key and to set it up. So let's go to my VS code. So we are using this instruction from Ada using the Gemini. So this is the Google instruction, the Gemini, um, how to get your free API access. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. All right, so this is my VS code and I've already created my environment. So I'm gonna show you how you can create your environment. So if you want to start creating, you can create an environment just to make sure everything is in one place to control your versions. Okay, so you do Python as MV, MV, EMV. So when you hit enter, it's gonna create an environment for you. All right, so I've already done that. So I'm gonna clean this up. And you need to activate your environment. So you're going to say EMV slash script slash activate. So when you click click on this, you see a green EMV here showing that it's been activated. All right. So what we want to do now is let's go to our first instruction. I'm going to copy this. So we are going to install pip install Ada chat. So when I hit enter. All right, so when that is installed, I will head over to, so I'm on Windows, I'm gonna copy this here. So I'm gonna copy this command, set X Gemini API key right here. And I'm going to paste my API key. All right, so in order to get your API key, you hang over to aistudio.google.com. You click on get API key 
and it should create an API key for you right here. It's very simple to do that. So I already have that. So I will be pasting it. All right, so once you have that dependent on your system, So I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to say enter. So once you see that, you see it successfully. So when you see this, you say success specified value was saved. So the next thing we need to do now is let's go to the next step. So we should restart the shell. So I am going to restart it. So what I want to do is I want to close this and I want to open a new now. And I need to activate terminal. All right, so we want to copy this instruction and paste it here. We want to get a name of our new model. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to say enter. All right, so I'm going to say yes. All right, so let's try out. So let's create an app. All right, so I'm going to say create a modern user interface for my AI website with the name data edge make sure to add services such as domain chatbot consultation and pricing plans. All right, so let's see how this works. Let's check out the model. Okay, started generating. for the app so we have the so let's include a CSS okay so let's say okay it includes basic structure so let's say create a style CSS files. Okay. All right, so let's run it and see. Run this Python dash M HTTP the server. So it's running on port 8000. So let's try it out and see.
all right this is awesome so it has generated a, a website a ui interface for the website and it's included the services automation chatbot pricing and it's giving you the get started so it's a good start yeah all right so you can see the power of this model so you can continue adding a lot of features to make it really nice and usable you know user interface for your website all right okay all right so you can see assess the files here all right so guys i hope you like this video do play around with it and let me know what you think about this model don't forget to share and subscribe and see you in the next one